Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you the easiest way to cheese Astol Natural Born of the Void. Like the video if this helps, and let's get into it. So this isn't some glitch or trick, just a combination of attacks that I used to completely decimate Estelle. I ended up beating her on my third try. Now the two crucial parts to this strategy is the Comet Azur spell, the one that shoots out a massive Goku beam that lasts until you run out of FP, and the second is the Mimic Tear Ashes. To get the Mimic you need to do a tiny little side quest, I'll leave a link to a video in the description that'll show you how to get it if you don't have it already. What it does is it duplicates your character as an Ashes Summon who has the same abilities and weapons as you super powerful. As for the Goku Beam spell, it requires 60 intelligence to use unfortunately and can be found here roughly on the map when you go and talk to a specific character. It is that simple but I will leave a link to a short video guide below too just in case. Now if your intelligence is too low, respecking is definitely not a bad idea just for this boss fight, you can always swap back in the future anyway. And besides these two necessities you could also bring along the Terra Magicus spell. This one is not required and I didn't actually use it when I beat Estelle but it creates an area effect and when you're standing in that area it will increase the damage of your laser beam which is super powerful and I recommend picking it up as well and that can be done at the top of the westmost tower above the Academy Crystal Cave. Right here on the map there is a video linked below as well. Now once you've gotten these spells, begin the encounter. Now you want to activate your summon and summon that mimic as soon as you can. Your mimic will use your laser as well as other equipped items and spells to deal major damage. Besides this, the mimic will distract Estelle for majority of the fight. And while that's happening, you want to wait until Estelle sits remotely still and then fire that beam. The beam deals insane damage and if positioned and timed correctly, it will have her down to half health within a use or two. Make sure if your health is low, you dodge whatever attacks she does decide to throw at you instead of the mimic and try your best to set up your Comet Azure spell. If you mess up the placement and die, just try again. The spell is so powerful that the victory is almost guaranteed if you just give it a few tries. And that is how I absolutely destroy Estelle. It's that simple. The method doesn't always work against every boss, but it is pretty strong and you can use it against a lot of other bosses. So give it a try. If you're wondering how to get to Estelle, it's a part of the rainy quest line, so you will get to that eventually if you're just playing through the game. I'm going to let this play out a little bit on screen so you can see me decimate this boss in real time. Please be sure to comment down below if this did actually help you out. I hope you all enjoy your day and enjoy the game. I'll catch you in a future video. Take care. Peace.